So we've got the voice menu here. So while in mixing mode, now the top number voice number has to do with uh, you have a choice of 1 through 20, 126 voice parameters, which could be a, ba a bass, piano, saxophone sound, various sounds like that, basic things. So the, 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 and below those voice numbers are the, uh, are the voice banks, and they sit in the bank. I think it's MSB, LSB, it's indicated there, banks. That will take you to a whole other menu of various types of uh, voices that come at, in the voice uh, number window. The higher the number you go, you get into the percussions, and then you go into the own uh, type of voices that you uh, edit and create for yourself in the various other banks. So, but right now I have to go back and turn local control uh, on because in order to hear the sounds that we're putting in for each of these variables, uh, uh, voices, we want to hear them. So we turn on the local tr control on, go back over to our mixing menu, and get back to the voice parameter box and the LED menu that has to do with mixing. Again, song and mixing are what take you over to this menu that allows you to set the parameters for each MIDI track that you're going to be recording on. So when you click on um, MIDI track one on your Cubase, and you have uh, you have a MIDI track one that has commun that's communicating with MIDI track one, or it could be communicating with MIDI track three. But typically, you set those first MIDI tracks one through sixteen to one through sixteen to correspond with those numbers along the top there, having to do where it says part. So when you when you click on track one on the Cubase MIDI track one. And it's talking to MIDI track one. That is the voice that you're going to hear that's right there under that in that menu where it says part one. In that menu where it says part one. So and parts there that and that performance whatever you put in that performance voice number box is what's going to play back for what you're inputting to um, playing along with when you're playing cubase so right now we get this sci-fi griffin thing going on number 105 so so we'll change that we're going to move it around again the the banks just below where that voice number are will go up and down there's approximately eight of them in there the higher you move the higher you go up uh you have the drum sounds and na 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 so anyways we go back over here we have to change those things of course we use the wheel and we use the incremental or the decre the, the decrease buttons to change those numbers in that box So to get to the basic sounds, uh, you, you move that the lower bank, um, LSB, you, you circulate uh, everything to the left or hit no to decrease where you're going, go down to the very basic, the very basic bank, which I believe is 63, zero on the bottom. Again, we're still on channel MIDI channel one, which again is corresponding with any MIDI track in Cubase that has assigned MIDI in and out for MIDI track one. So this bank right here will have all the basic sounds that you want to work with typically uh, getting started. So when I get up to the voice number here shortly, I'm going to go up and wheel it down and 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 decrease or use the no button to go down or the wheel to go down to the, the lowest number which you'll hear piano sounds and then you'll play around with this to get the various sounds but again the only way you're going to hear the sound when you're in when you've got the local off is that you have highlighted in Cubase the track uh, the MIDI track that corresponds with this MIDI track on here so here we are the top numbers are the voice numbers, are the various voices for each of the 16 MIDI channels. The lower numbers are the banks that will access other 
uh, voice parameter boxes that you can put into that top and get different sounds into the top box meaning the voice number box so notice those numbers change when you turn the wheel And here you notice all the menus change on the top from the voice number box when you go up. That's a stereo uh, GM is a basic stereo drum setup. If you put it on 127 in the lower bank, you get the drums up in the top. You only get like one or two, three or four uh, voice number uh, available parameters in each of those boxes when you're, um, you get into the drum programs. Basically, that's set it up. So we've got a local control off. Again, there's a local control. We turn that off and on, depending on whether or not we want to work locally. Now, if I wanted to work right with Cubase, I'd turn that off. Um, but if I want to play with the band and the guys live, we're using just the voice parameters or the song modes, set up various things to play with the guys, you have to have that on. Again, the other thing here is remember that you have the utility button. You want to make sure the MIDI is set in and out, is set up to USB. And that's an important thing to make sure it's going to be working and talking to the computer when you want to read that into. That's about it. Thanks for listening.